Hello all, welcome to my channel Codify with Sonal. Today I am starting AWS Solution Architect Associate Practice Question Series. So uh, this is not a tutorial as for this exam you need in-depth knowledge of the services. So you can do any course which you like, uh, maybe it is uh, Cantrell, Neil or Stephen. I have already shared a video on planning strategy and uh, the course links in my previous video. I will pin it down to the i button as well as put it in the description box. Though these questions which I will be covering will help you practice what you have studied and give an overview of what type of uh, questions can come an exam. So let's start. So let's start with the first question. So a company is planning to migrate a business critical data set to Amazon S3. The current solution design reuses a single S3 bucket in the US East 1 region with versioning enabled to store the data set. The company's disaster recovery policy states that all data multiple AWS regions. How should a solutions architect design the S3 solution? So first of all, to understand the question, you should have something in mind like what is the thing, what topic they are talking about and you should have some basic rough idea in your mind or maybe during exam you can use the whiteboard and you can write some basic formulas like okay one S3 bucket in US East one or maybe just create a but you should practice this with your practice questions because in exam you really don't have time to draw too much. So just you know by writing the one liner or two liner you should understand the concept which goes in your head quickly. So first thing we will eradicate what does not suit. Before that let me explain you what the question is saying. So you have one region US East one where you have one S3 bucket okay and the bucket is version enabled their disaster policy says that they want this bucket to be replicated everywhere the data should be having replication okay. So that's clear right now we'll see what is cores. So cores is a document with rules that identify the origins that you will allow to access the bucket the get put what you want to allow to access the bucket. Uh, this is not about accessing your bucket it is about how you want to replicate your data correct. So you will be requiring cross region replication now here we see two cores which we have disabled okay so no cores in this solution. We need replication. So now uh, create an additional S3 bucket in another region and configure cross region replication. Okay, so cross region replication we have two answers. Let's see the second one. Create an additional S3 bucket with versioning. So now this point whenever you are doing a cross region replication you need to do versioning. Okay, that is a key pointer. So the correct answer to this question is create an additional S3 bucket with versioning in another region and configure cross region replication. Let's go to the next question. You can maybe pause the video and uh, you can read the question so that you understand it. Okay. A business want to utilize an AWS region as a backup site for its on-premise infrastructure. The organization now contains 10 terabytes of data and an on-premise data center has a 1 gigabyte per second internet connection. A solutions architect must devise a strategy that enables the organization to migrate its existing data to AWS in 72 hours without utilizing an unencrypted connection. Which option should the architect choose? Okay, so now here we will uh, first what you should do is you should Check out your keyword 72 hours. They want to move from on premise to their AWS region. Okay, so you have an on premise data center and you have a region, AWS region, where you want to move your 10 gigabytes of data in 72 hours. Okay, now to understand that, let's see the first option. Send the initial 10 TB of data to AWS using FTP. Now they say unencrypted connection. So VPN FTP is an uh, unencrypted connection. So they say without utilizing an unencrypted connection. So ruled out. Then coming to send the initial 10 TB of data to AWS using AWS Snowball. So uh, the point is it, this can be done but the condition is we have to do it in 72 hours. You will ask for Snowball. It will ship the Snowball. Then you will load the data. You will send back the data. 
this cannot be done in 72 hours right then coming to uh, establish an aws direct connect connection between vpc and company's data center so to establish direct connect it takes time okay you cannot uh, do it immediately it is definitely out of uh, question that it is a time bound and uh, time bound target you have uh, 72 hours only right so coming to the third option establish a vpn connection between amazon vpc and the company's data center can be the answer okay establish an aws direct connect connection between amazon vpc and company's data center so now uh, c and d both can be the answers but now by before choosing one understand that it is we have a time bound 72 hours and we have a we have to use a encrypted channel okay so aws direct connect and out of vpn direct connect is not encrypted vpn is encrypted so we go with the answer as establish a vpn connection between amazon vpc and the company's data center next a company is running an application on Amazon EC2 instances hosted in a private subnet of VPC. The EC2 instances are configured in an auto-scaling group behind an ELB. The EC2 instances use a NAT gateway for outbound internet access. However, the EC2 instances are not able to connect to their public sub-internet to download software updates. What are the possible root causes? Okay. ELB is not configured with proper health check. Route tables in the VPC are not con in not configured correctly. The EC2 instances are not associated with an elastic IP address. The security group attached to the NAT gateway is configured incorrectly. The outbound rules on the security group attached to the EC2 instances are configured incorrectly. So now, uh, first, let us understand what they are trying to say. Okay. With the architecture diagram, I'll make you understand this. There's a VPC in which they have a private subnet and a public subnet. So, private subnet has EC2 with auto scaling and ELB. Okay. And that has a NAT gateway which goes through the internet gateway, IGW. Okay. So, now they, the first option was regarding ELB. So, ELB has nothing to do with outgoing points. Okay. Next, the option was regarding route tables. So, it can be because if it has to go from here. The route tables can be configured incorrectly due to which it is not able to reach the internet out. Then next option what we had was security group attached to the NAT gateway. So, now there is no NAT, uh, there is no security group in NAT gateway. There is NACLs. Okay. So, this cannot be the option. So, we had to choose two. The, the, so, the correct answers are the route tables in the VPC are configured incorrectly or else the outbound rules on the security group attached to the EC2 instances are configured incorrectly. Uh, guys, while doing practicals, I have seen this. The last part, many times your security group rules are not configured correctly and you are not able to connect to the service. Next. An administrator of a large company wants to monitor for and prevent any cryptocurrency related attacks on the company's AWS accounts. Which AWS service can the administrator use to protect the company against attacks? So now let's see one by one. What is Cognito? Cognito is not related to attacks. It is related to authentication, authorization and user management. Guard duty is related to attacks in a way like it is a continuous security monitoring service that analyzes and processes data resources such as VPC flow logs, uh, data event logs, uh, cloud trail data event log, management logs and DNS logs. So next coming to inspector. So now inspector is proactive and guard duty is reactive. Okay. And Massey, Massey coming to it uses machine learning to discover and protect sensitive data and not attacks. Okay. So, guard duty is the answer. Why? Because guard duty is the one who provides you, who protects you against cryptocurrency related attacks. Okay. So, if you see cryptocurrency attacks, 
so the key point is guard duty next a web application is deployed in the aws cloud it consists of a two tier architecture that includes a web layer and a database layer the web server is vulnerable to cross site scripting see your key point cross site scripting attacks so this is our key pointer okay so cross site scripting whenever you see it is always they want some uh, the answer will be to remediate cross site we need waf which is web application firewall so now what happens is attackers you know sometimes they insert scripts into the web request to exploit the vulnerabilities in web application okay so waf the web application uh, firewall protects you against this cross site scripting attacks okay and uh, waf works at layer 7 of the osi model I, i guess everybody knows osi model if you want to know more about it you can tell me i can do a separate video on osi model okay so uh, layer 7 so on layer 7 is application that's why waf works with application load balancer okay and what does shield do shield protects us against the ddos attacks so this question is pretty straightforward so the answer to this question is create an application load balancer put the web layer behind the load balancer and enable aws waf so that's it for today and uh, if you have any questions or if you have any doubts please let me know in the comment box this is the new series that i have started and uh, make sure i am not telling you just go through this questions and you'll qualify no this i'm doing it as a practice series so practice these questions out which will help you understand the uh, problem thinking way uh, because solution architect is a very complex exam guys you cannot just go through the questions and pass that is just uh, maybe one out of 10 people can pass that way but understanding is important just not certifying just certifying is not that great thing so understand the things go through the courses and which courses to go through what what study plan please check out the strategy plan what i have given you earlier i'll put the link in the description box as well as stated earlier so that's it for today let's codify with sonal in the next video till then stay happy please like share and subscribe my channel do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you get a notification of the updated video thank you